Hey there, welcome. My name is Alonda Carter and I am the Recovering Hunbot. I create anti-MLM videos that's anti-multi-level marketing and I also examine white collar crime and some true crime basically. I like to tell the stories related to scammy things and the people involved. I'm not on the screen because we recently moved and I've been saying this in every video recently. Anyway, it's going to take some time, probably several months before my office slash YouTube studio is actually put together. Now that we have custody of my husband's two teenage boys, our focus is on their needs. So, you know, stuff that I need, like actually being set up in here, it's just kind of on hold. Anywho, I've made several videos about people who would be considered leaders within a specific MLM. Today, we're going to dive into the background of someone I would say is held up as a success story. But when you start to unravel the ball of yarn, this person is not really at the tippy top. They are more of a middle tier person based on what I can determine is most likely their level of income. Please not send any hate to anyone involved in multi-level marketing or to the specific MLM that this person joined. Also be kind to each other and to me in the comment section. And as always, please, 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 oh, please do your own research. Now, before we dive into it, I want to give a shout out to my newest Patreon, Dainty Bigly. I'm so sorry if I didn't pronounce that correctly. Anyway, I really, really appreciate your support and thank you to all of you who watch the videos I create. And now back to this specific video. When I saw the name Cash Cartier, I just had to know more. Cash Cartier, that name to me, is the epitome of someone who is seeking to lure people into some sort of get rich quick scheme. It sounds very network markety, multi-level markety, are those words anyway, well they are right now. Basically, it just fits someone involved in this type of alleged business. However, I think the last name Cartier might be his grandmother's. I'm pretty sure there's a story behind that name and there is an image I saw of him by a tombstone on his Instagram feed. So I'm thinking maybe there's something behind it. I'm not really sure. On Reddit, someone had this to say about cash. I went to university with a few friends who invested in stocks and did very well. When I'd ask for advice or to teach me, they'd tell me tips about how to assess a company based off quarterly earnings, looking at charts on our campus, Bloomberg Terminal, etc. When I read someone's name, Cash Cartier, it sounds like a really bad rap name, not somebody who actually knows poop about investing. And the advice they post, let your haters be your motivators. Hustle as hard as you can. Now multiply that hustle by a million. You gotta dream this live to achieve it. DM me $300 to learn more. They'll write full paragraphs like that saying absolutely nothing of substance. They get commission off you signing up for whatever BS they're pushing. If the captions aren't evidence enough, your friend is going to have a hard time not falling for every scam that gets pushed on them. I discovered Cartier because I was alerted to an article recently published titled, How Cash Cartier Became the King of Network Marketing. His real name, by the way, is Caleb Mickens. As of this recording, he is 29 years old. Given that I've created videos about actual top network marketers in the world who, according to the website, Business for Home, which is run by this dude, Ted, and his wife, Dini, which incidentally, there's ties to Vima. Vima was shut down for being a pyramid scheme. Anyway, Teddy Boy tracks the alleged income of those who are in network marketing. 
I thought perhaps Cartier would be mentioned, and I was wrong, which made me just think exactly how is this guy the king of network marketing if he is not included anywhere on Business for Home. Then I looked him up on Behind MLM to see if there was any mention, and there wasn't, yet he is the king. So I had to dig deeper. Caleb played football for Cabrillo High School in California, and he also allegedly played in the Indoor Football League. FilmDaily.com, which published that article I told you about, is a source for news about life with an entertainment focus. According to the article, Cash or Caleb is among the top most prominent and influential names in the global network marketing industry, and yet he is absent from the two websites that keep track of all things network marketing related. Granted, you do pay Ted to have an article written about you or to be a recommended distributor, but people in the industry such as Ray Higdon, Fraser Brooks, and Tim Sales are all mentioned on Business for Home, and they're big names. And people who are considered to actually be real top earners, including people like the late Dexter Yeager, who was with Amway, Igor E. Alberts, who was with OneCoin, and now Shill's dad coin, and also Holton Bugs, who made a name for himself with Organa Gold and has since created his own MLM, which is iBoomerang. I really need to do a video about that. Anyway, they're all mentioned at Business for Home, so Cash thinks he is king, and yet he is not standing shoulder to shoulder with any of these people. Interesting. And then I discovered which company he is associated with. I am Mastery Academy, which I've made several videos about already. Now, let me give you a brief backstory on I am before diving into more about Cash or Caleb, whatever name you want to call this guy. I am Mastery Academy was initially called iMarkets Live, but rebranded because, well, there were just stuff and things and their image needed to change. iMarkets Live was founded back in 2013, one year before OneCoin, and it was founded as a financial trading company that had a Forex education platform. It was allegedly designed to take anyone from knowing nothing to learning from experts who had 20 plus years in the field. It was founded by Christopher Terry. Now, Terry has a shady past at best. His journey in the world of MLM started with Amway back in the 1990s. He is also associated with being part of Zeke Rewards. Zeke Rewards was an uh, um, investment opportunity that promised its investors that they would get returns by sharing in the profits of Zeekler, a penny auction website. Terry brought on Alex Morton over to IM Mastery Academy. Morton had made a name for himself with Vima, then jumped ship to Geonese. Morton has faced charges on a class action suit alleging Giannis to be a pyramid scheme. Allegedly, our boy Cash, according to a Facebook page, says he is from Las Vegas, studied at Harvard University, and now resides in Dallas, Texas. However, a video titled Next Wave Training, which was recorded, I guess, July 12, 2019, at least that's what it says on YouTube, is on Jason Brown's YouTube channel. And Jason is with I Am Academy. Anyway, in this video, Caleb or Cash says he's from Los Angeles, never graduated from high school or went to college, and by 18 was a convicted felon who left LA for Texas, which begs the question, how truthful is he being? How much of the story he tells is fact, and what, if anything, is fiction? In 2010, when Caleb was 18, he was arrested. In 2011, Caleb was arrested on the suspicion of violating his probation, threatening crime with intent to terrorize, and a misdemeanor violation of a court order to prevent domestic violence. His bail was denied. According to an article published in 2017, in the area where Caleb went to high school, there are four primary gangs, West Side BLP, South Side, Six Deuce Brims, and Central Coast Crips. I am not saying Caleb was involved in a gang. However, I would not be surprised if his criminal involvement was related to gang activity. 
Allegedly, while Caleb was incarcerated, his mother sent him a book called The Secret, which is all about the law of attraction, and supposedly it changed his life. The law of attraction is a common element associated with multi-level marketing companies. Your vibration attracts to you what you want to get out of life. Now is not the time to go into all of that. I have spoken about this a lot in various videos and have covered it in connection to the New Thought Movement. Also, Monica Hayworth did a video all about the secret. Now, Caleb is not the only convicted felon associated with network marketing. In a previous video I did about one of the former OneCoin leaders, Tom McMurrin, I covered how he went to prison for running a Ponzi scheme called Emergency One Cash Card. Tom, like Christopher Terry, the founder of I Am Academy, has a history with Zeke Rewards, which was found out to be a Ponzi scheme. You know what they say about birds of a feather? It definitely holds true in the world of network marketing or multi-level marketing, whatever you want to call it. The uh, <clears throat> leaders tend to know each other and also follow each other from one alleged opportunity to another. Jason Brown and Matt Rosa are mentioned on the Business for Home website, and they are in the top three income earners with I Am Academy. I have not dug into their past MLM experience. However, from the research I have done in the past, no one ever just starts out climbing up in the world of MLM. They never tend to do it just through the hard work alone, although they'll tell you that's what happened. Is it just me or do all of these guys have the same kind of douchey look and do the same kind of douchey things to flex lifestyle? Typically, top dogs have been in the industry for a while. And what I have found is that they often start out in their 20s. Also, they have connections with others in MLM because they were part of another one together. For example, when you dig into I Am Academy leaders, you find several who are also part of Organa Gold. Organa Gold also had a lot of people jump ship for one coin, but that's a different story, which I have also covered. Another thing that happens, which I discussed in an interview with Robert Fitzpatrick, are backroom deals. People are placed in positions within these types of companies that gives them an advantage. Hopefully, I'll remember to link that video in the description. This is why when I hear someone like Caleb tell their story, I take it with a grain of salt. Every so-called leader has a rags-to-riches story where life sucked before MLM. But with the right mindset and hard work, they were able to achieve the life of their dreams through insert name of multi-level marketing company. They are all the same. The names change, the story alters, but in the end, it is always the same message. And each group is able to speak to their peers in a way that resonates, which makes sense. Get them while they're young. Build up the ones that are able to attract people they know and teach them the ropes of what really goes on and just pass the baton of deception. Everything about this industry is calculated to make you think that you too can have this grandiose life by joining insert name of company and then just dedicate yourself to hard work and the right mindset. It's a big old bucket of hooey. The late Dr. John Taylor had this image created. It shows the top level for new skin, but can be applied to any of these companies. If you join I Am Academy or any other company, you are at the bottom and must somehow fight your way through the thousands of people to get to the top. I will just leave that right there for you to ponder. Cash is listed as a Chairman 50 over on Trade House Academy. According to the website, 4X Secrets Unleashed, in late 2014, Mike Miles and Jordan Morgan, these guys had wanted to learn about Forex and they created Trade House. Allegedly, Trade House helps people become successful Forex traders. Using some sort of educational platform is not unique or original. This really seems to be popular with financial MLMs, be they cryptocurrency or Forex. These platforms tend to be a bait and switch. People may have no idea an MLM is connected and then bam, there it is. Given the volatile nature of Forex, 
then having it combined with MLM, in my opinion, it is just a formula for disaster emotionally, financially, and personally. Top leaders of I Am Academy, including Morton, Jason Brown, Matt Rosa, Bryce Thompson, and Yvonne Tapia, who incidentally now rank number 19 on Business for Home list of top earners, and oh yeah, the good old David Imonitie. Some information about Trade House is found over at pewpewsquad.com. The website states they are experienced Forex, cryptocurrency, and stock trading educators. This type of setup, like I said, is not unique or original. There are so many instances in which an MLM claims to be providing some sort of financial education, and there is just, you know, this offshoot of educational platforms that people pay a monthly fee to be part of, in addition to all the stuff that they are paying to be part of the MLM. For instance, Enagic has a ton of educational platforms associated with it, and I've done a lot of videos covering most all of those. In addition to this trade house crap, Cash Cartier talks about turning your phone into a walking ATM. One article declares that he founded walking ATMs. There is no walking ATMs website. It's just a dead link. There is a Facebook page with Cash or um, Caleb front and center. At least I'm presuming it is him based off the ponytail. And the link for the watch video is also dead. Great marketing, my man. Let me get this straight. You are out there hustling people and have zero professional presence. Yeah, that does not stink whatsoever. Totally passes the smell test. Insert eye roll. The last post on this Facebook page is on July 20th of 2020. And as I scrolled along, all I really saw were these congratulations of people that were getting to a specific rank within I Am Academy. Big whoop. According to his Instagram account, he has 120,000 followers. However, his engagement, it's not very consistent. One post has something like 3,225 likes with only six comments, and another has 1,193 likes with 79 comments. Most of the comments, though, are emojis, which just kind of makes it all fall a bit flat for me. Caleb is a nice looking dude and he certainly takes care of his body. Also, his dog is super cute and seems to be well behaved. And it really looks like they love each other. I love the pictures of his doggo. But I do have to wonder about the authenticity of what he promotes knowing what I do about multi-level marketing and from all the research I have done on I Am Academy. I have heard there are roughly 300,000 members of I Am Academy. According to their 2020 income disclosure statement, the top 1% were paid more than $20,920, which would be about 3,000 people. When you review the published earnings, 0.39%, which is 1,170 people in their network, made between $66,000 to over $1 million. The difference between 66,000 and a million is considerable. So when Cash is strutting around on stage like a peacock telling you it's all about your mindset and hard work, how does he account for how few people are actually making a livable wage? How is it that he and the other robots in I Am Academy can claim that by joining you two will become financially free? It is more like you will lose your shirt and help those at the top keep profiting from those at the bottom. Caleb is Chairman 50 and only 0.18% of the 300,000 in the network achieved that rank in 2020. That's only 540 people. And at this rank, people make, according to the income disclosure statement, between $66,387.90 to $69,099.84 for the year. And this does not include the expenses associated with being part of I Am. But what I want to know is, did they keep that rank they achieved? Or did it slip? And are they able to make bank year after year? 
Guys like Caleb sell you on the illusion of a lifestyle. They grind away throwing these events at hotels, which are created for the sole purpose of recruiting more people. 99.61% of the network of I am do not even make $60,000 a year. His Instagram feed is created for the purpose of making you believe the lie that MLM sells you. And when I listen to his training videos, this guy is just yelling at the camera. I do not see that as a sound instructional strategy. I do not think I have ever written training materials. And yes, I'm a professional instructional designer, have been designing training materials for many years, but I never told the trainer to yell at the learners. Do you like being yelled at? I don't. And I don't think it's a great way for people to learn anything. He says he had nothing special when he started, no niche. And I've heard that before. I just have to wonder how true it is. One thing we know about criminals is they learn from each other. Not only was he in prison for a felony, he has surrounded himself with people who have a questionable past that could be considered professional scammers. How confident are you that this guy is on the up and up given his past and those who he associates with? My confidence in him as being someone that anyone should take advice from in terms of building a business is laughable. The overall industry is extremely shady. I think it's a matter of time before I am Academy comes under fire for their shenanigans. There are just far too many people who are putting out, you know, unethical claims and preying on young people's desire to be social media celebrities and live lavishly. Sadly, most of what you see on social media that displays conspicuous consumption is just a web of lies. What bothers me most is there are people younger than Caleb who are right now in the process of becoming the next lifetime MLM scammer. These guys who are making bank, not Caleb, people in I Am Academy who are the top earners like Alex Morton, Yvonne Tapia, David Emanitier, Matt Rosa, Jason Brown, and Austin Godsey, sniff out the young blood so they can pass on the deception torch and train them to continue what others who have gone before them have done for years and what they are doing right now, selling the dream of time freedom, financial freedom, and residual income. What you have to understand is that this is a carefully crafted and calculated means to deceive others and steal their time and whatever money they can from them so that a very, very small group reaps financial rewards. In my opinion, the entire industry is a criminal enterprise. What are your thoughts and opinions about Caleb and him being the king of network marketing? Is he on the path to becoming a lifelong MLM scammer? Let me know in the comments and remember you're beautiful and I love you.